Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn cycloaddition reaction in pericyclic reaction. And we learn about suprafacial and antarafacial interaction, 2 plus 2 and 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. So let's begin. Cycloaddition reaction. So there are two types of addition here. As the name says, it is addition reaction. One is syn addition, other is called anti-addition. So we'll see what is suprafacial addition. In cycloaddition, basically you have two reactant which will fuse and give you a cyclic product. Okay. So if you have the orbital picture of the two alkene where the same phase interaction is there like plus plus and minus minus interaction which is forming a bonding interaction then this type of addition is called syn addition or suprafacial addition. On the other side if you have different phase addition you can see one is plus plus other side you have plus minus which cannot form a bond therefore it has to go on a different phase and therefore it has to rotate by 180 degree. This type of addition is called anti-addition or antarafacial addition. So basically in cycloaddition, the addition reaction takes place in two manners. One it is suprafacial, other is antarafacial addition. Some points to keep in your mind like these cycloaddition reaction we can occur in either thermal condition or photochemical condition. So under thermal condition, we take ground state homo of one molecule while the lumo of the other molecule. Okay, so that is under thermal condition. In photochemical condition, we take the excited state homo of one molecule which fuses with the lumo of the other molecule. So this you have to keep in your mind when they give you the reaction under thermal condition, you have to take the ground state homo of one and the lumo of the other reactant. If they give you photochemical condition, then you have to select the excited state homo orbital of one molecule and take the lumo of the other. So basically we are using the frontier molecular orbital picture which is called FMO approach where we know homo of one molecule and lumo of other molecule. If it is giving you the bonding interaction, it is called symmetrically allowed reaction. If this is anti-bonding interaction means in a different phase, it is called symmetrically forbidden reaction. So in that way, suprafacial addition is symmetrically allowed while antarafacial is symmetrically forbidden addition reaction. Now we'll apply this to 2 plus 2 system first and we'll see. Let's take the simplest example of 2 plus 2 and you can notice under one condition only you are getting the product while in other you are not getting. So 2 plus 2 is photochemically active while thermodynamically it is inactive. So we'll see why. First we will take under thermal condition. And under thermal condition, we know we take the ground state homo of one molecule, why we will take the lumo of the other molecule. And since you have lumo here, ethene as an example, which has two electrons. So if two electrons means you have two orbitals here, psi1 and psi2, two electrons falls in the ground state, right? So this is called the ground state homo, while the lumo is psi2. So here we are taking ground state homo which is psi1 and lumo of the ethene is psi2. So psi2 is we know the orbital picture minus plus and ground state homo is all positive on the one side. Right and therefore you can see here plus plus forming a bonding interaction but here you have a different phase which cannot form a bond. And so thermodynamically pi Two suprafacial plus pi 2 electron suprafacial is forbidden reaction. Okay, you can say that interfacial we can try here in different phase. Interfacial is also geometrically not possible because of the small ring size. Cyclobutane is very small, so small ring size is there. Now we'll see for photochemically. In photochemically, we take excited state homo of one molecule and lumo of other molecule. Now, if you see the orbital picture here, you have two orbitals psi1 and psi2 and the two electrons, now one electron from the ground state will excite to the 
nearest vacant orbital which is i2 and now this becomes a excited state highest occupied molecular orbital which is psi 2 okay so psi 2 you have to draw the geometry here orbital picture plus minus and lumo we know it is psi 2 for ethene so you have to draw in a way you can show the bonding interaction same phase interaction is possible under photochemical condition and so cyclobutane is forming and we can say Psi, pi 2 electron suprafacial plus pi 2 electron suprafacial is photochemically allowed reaction. Okay, so 2 plus 2 is photochemically active. We will see now 4 plus 2 addition. 4 plus 2 you can see here we are getting the product thermodynamically but photochemically it is inactive. Just reverse of 2 plus 2. We will see how. So thermally we know we take the ground state homo and we take the LUMO of the other molecules. So let's take, normally we take the HOMO of the diene and since it is 1,3-butadiene which is having total 4 pi electrons, so 4 orbitals are there, 4 pi electrons are occupied here, 2 are in psi 1, 2 are in psi 2. So the highest occupied molecular orbital in ground state is psi 2. Okay, so we have drawn plus plus minus minus uh, orbital picture for psi 2. And LUMO of ethene, we know it is psi 2 and you have to draw in a way, you can show the bonding interaction here. You can notice plus plus and minus minus, which is forming a bonding interaction under thermal condition. And so, you can say that pi 4 electron suprafacial, pi 2 electron suprafacial is thermally allowed process. We will see what happens under photochemically. Photochemically, we know that excited state homo participate and for the other molecule we take lumo and we are talking about the one three beta diene orbital picture total four orbitals are there four pi electrons one of the electron from the highest occupied that is psi 2 will move to the nearest vacant orbital that is psi 3 right so in the excited state you have highest occupied molecular orbital which is psi 3 psi 3 you have to draw the orbital picture plus minus minus plus and lumo of psi 2 we know ethene is psi 2 that is minus plus or you can write plus minus in one case it is forming a bond but other you can say it is not forming a bond it is therefore photochemically a forbidden process pi 4s plus pi 2s is photochemically forbidden pi 4s plus pi 2a enterofacial is also not possible because of the small ring size. So I hope you understood the concept of suprafacial enterofacial and you got to know that 2 plus 2 is photochemically allowed while 4 plus 2 is thermodynamically allowed process. In the next video, we will learn about diels elder reaction, its stereochemistry, feasibility and endoselectivity. So, happy learning. Till then, bye.